On Sunday, Spence and the hybrid of both teams took on the senior woman in a scrimmage at the Atabolden Stadium in Coover. He says these early sessions were essential to shaking off the rust of two years of inactivity. Basically, what we were doing, we were just trying to see how well we could have organized quickly on transition. Uh, basically, that was it. That was the only things that I was looking for. Uh, while we know goals win matches and we didn't want to, to, be, to be hammered, it wasn't my main focus today. It was to see whether or not their legs could have stood up for 90 minutes. Uh, as you would have recognized, we broke it down into three 30-minute periods to give them that little breather in between. Um, the group, uh, they're feeling quite well. I think around the 75th minute is when person started to fade away. So I think we're getting there, um, being able to play at this level. The former national U15 coach also expects to add foreign-based talent to the current pool before entering a pre-tournament camp. Right now I have 12 players who have showed interest. Um, that decision, that final decision is going to be made based on how this group adapts very quickly to the fitness levels and so on that we want and the way and the style that we, go, we intend to play. Then I will know for sure exactly which is going to be coming. But I would think I would have my eyes set on about eight of them who will be joining the 12-man group. To, to make it 20, who we will take to the tournament. Spence noted that his locally based working group is split between Trinidad and Tobago, with both halves following the same program. His first assignment is the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship in the Dominican Republic from February 25th to March 8th. TNT will play Canada, El Salvador, as well as St. Kitts and Nevis in Group G. The Under-17 qualification tourney is scheduled between April 23rd and May 8th, also in the DR. Jovan Ravello, TTT Sport.